going guys, Mickey here from Hop Cartel, back with another beer review. I'm going to review one of the unusual additions from Willie the Boatman. It's their Cappuccino Nitro Stout, coming in at 5.8%, 375ml fuel, can, 1.8 standard drinks. These guys hail out of St. Peter's. <clears throat> I've inverted the can a couple of times to get it prepared, wanting it to warm up a little bit before I pour it. This uncommon can is packed with the with the flavours of whatever ingredients we use to make it. Put your taste buds to the test and enjoy the unusual addition of Willy. This is a freaky tinny, impossibly filled with a thousand flavours. It's a vessel of mythical character that shape shifts with the with the tides and whatever special brew label we've stuck on it. Hoppy, could be crispy, maybe tasty. You decide. Beer with character. Tastefully dedicated to true local characters, Willie the Boatman has bring, been bringing mates together since 2012. So once again, I have inverted a few times. That has actually made the can quite hard. Um, not much given the can there. Being a nitro, we want to pull this as quick as we can. We also want to make sure that we move any power points. Because this might overflow. There she is. So I was given a pretty much a, a vigorous inversion to get it happening to aggravate it, agitate it. Um, nice colour, nice head, one finger. Not much of a nitro effect going on there. Not big on the nose. Getting some um, mocha. Coffee, roastiness, coffee roastiness obviously coming across in that initially. Starting to die off very quickly, so it was very intense on the pour. The aroma that is. And um, sort of died off a bit. Almost has that sort of salty, sort of uh, oyster stout smell about it. But more coffee in there. More roast. Dive in. Very cold pressed coffee flavour, sweet, which is good. It really balances quite well. It has sweetness on the coffee. Um, slight roasty, slight roastiness. Very sessionable, very very sessionable. Um, I don't know what would make this any different than the standard version versus the nitro version. I know a couple of um, the um, Hop Cartel members and uh, our private brew chat um, would discuss this particular beer uh, a little bit. Um, so two different versions came out. This is obviously a later version where they decided they wanted to add nitro. Probably to give it a little bit more of a, a bit more oomph and a little bit more um, kindness to the palate. Nitro does give it that sort of element of silkiness, but I believe it'd be a silky beer. Like have have some sort of um, nice silky sweet coffee 
cold pressed coffee, sweet cold pressed coffee flavour about it, um, and um, it's got some nice lace in there, which is really good. Um, just agitate this a little bit more. I don't think this is a particular beer that's going to change much with um, gaining temperature. It's very creamy. The aroma is changing quite a fair bit. You get a sort of that more burnt roast coffee bean aroma coming off it. But that sweetness really balances out quite nicely. So, um, all in all, uh, this is not a, not not a bad beer at all. Uh, for me, I was expecting a whole lot more, uh, but the fact that it, um, excuse me, does sort of that 5.8% was getting up there into the 6% sort of stout, where I expect to taste a little bit of uh, slight booziness, a little bit of alcohol coming off, I'm not getting any of that. So that has really sold me on, on this one, is the fact that it's, um, it is very balanced and it, it goes down it's very smooth and uh, quite creamy and it does it does hide even it's only 5.8 percent does hide that sort of that alcohol quite well cheers if you can find it grab it give it a go especially if you're into your um lighter style stouts with the coffee flavors mocha and um creamy sort of um Roast. Definitely one I'd like to keep in the fridge. Like many of the, the beers that I've been reviewing of late, um, it'd always be good to have uh, a, a, a couple, a few even, uh, in the fridge. Breaks up the monotony of um, certain styles. People become attached to certain styles quite heavily. Uh, and I, I mentioned that in the way of uh, people just float around the whole New England IPA, West Coast, East Coast, um, uh, hazy IPAs, right right through their their, um, their drinking sessions, and they don't sort of expand. Come into the cooler seasons too. You want to be getting into the the darker styles. Um, and so then, when you come back into the warmer months, you, you're going to really uh, appreciate those those fruitier styles even more. Um, so definitely one that I'll, I'll decide to to restock in the fridge if I if I can get it again. Um, yeah, what else can I say? Go out, grab it if you can, and try it.